going to give you a tutorial on my way of doing Day of the Dead makeup, Dia de los Muertos. It's very easy and simple, and you'll have a lot of fun. Dia de los Muertos is a very spiritual holiday in the Mexican culture. As fun as it is to decorate your face and wear the beautiful costumes, it is also good to remember that this is a celebration of those who have passed. need today for your Dia de los Marcos makeup is baby wipes, makeup sponges, white base makeup, black for your eyes, nose, and mouth, metallic eyeliner, crayon makeup, q-tips, makeup brush, water, and most importantly the fixative spray. This keeps your makeup on complete without sweating it off and you can eat and drink with your makeup. For your white base, I like to use Kryolan Aqua Color. It's hypoallergenic, it goes on really evenly, and it's very easy to use. You dip your sponge in water, and then you dip it in your makeup, and you apply it onto your face. Get your face as white as possible for the dramatic Dia de los Muertos look. Next, what you're gonna wanna do are the eyes. You take your brush, your wet brush, and you get it in your black makeup. Get it nice and wet, but not too wet because you want a dark, even finish. You draw it onto your eye, tracing around the eyebrow and around the entire socket of your eye. Make a big, dark circle. Once you've made the circle shape that you like, then you go in and you fill it in with all black. Now we move on to the nose. What I do with the nose is I take my brush in the black makeup, make sure it's nice and pointy, and then I draw a line straight down the center of my nose. And the shape I like to do is more like an upside down heart shape. So I start with the right because I'm right-handed, do the shape there, fill it in. Once I'm happy with that shape and shading, I do the same thing with the left. Draw the same type of shape and then fill that in. On to the mouth. Very similar to what I did with the nose. I get my black color with the water, mix it in, nice and wet, and I start in the center. I go to the center of my mouth, I draw my line, move to the right, draw another line, and so on and so on, until I get to the very end of my mouth. And then I go over to the left and do the exact same thing I did on the right side. I basically mirror. Doesn't matter how many lines you do, it's all up to you. Also, what I like to do is if I mess up, I, which happens, you're gonna mess it up. Be patient, it's totally fine, we all do it. You take a baby wipe, regular baby wipe, doesn't matter what brand, wipe it clean, let it dry, most importantly, let it dry. Take your makeup sponge, go back to the white base, powder that back on, and then go back to where you messed up and fix out whatever it is you wanted. Cheek shading. Most importantly, go along the lines of where your cheeks are or where you think they are. Draw lines diagonally. Draw two or three of them with the black makeup. Then you take your sponge and you blend downwards. Downwards, 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 along the the shape of the line that you did. You can do another black line to make a more defined shading and then do it again on the other side. Look at yourself and judge for yourself of how deep you want your cheeks to look. The darker black you use, the more deeper look you're going to get with your shading. All right, now this is where we get to have fun because this is where you get to be more creative with your makeup. What we can do today with um, your eyes is add color and what I like to do is I like to start with the makeup crayons so you can go in like what I do and just draw flower shapes around your eyes and then you can go in with another color like say yellow something bright and that's really gonna stand out and make little dots what I like to do this is very traditional with uh, day of the dead makeup you'll see this on a lot of people it's basically to resemble resemble the sugar skulls and the, the sparkle that they give once you get your um, crayon makeup on to give a more bold look, what I like to do is go in with the uh, metallic eyeliners. 
These are really fun because they give me more of a pop in color. So you just go over what you had drawn with the makeup crayon and do it over again. And you can use any color you want, any, any type of sparkle or metallic that you want to use. So after you're all done with your makeup and you've looked it over and you've added more or uh, fixed any little mistakes that you've done and you like what you see, what you do next is you put on your fixative spray. It comes in either a pump or an aerosol. I like the pump because it's smaller and it's easy to carry around. You just spray away from the face first just to make sure it isn't clogged. And then you go about eight inches from your face and spray all over. Let it dry and spray again and let it dry. After that, you're done and you're ready to roll. This concludes my tutorial for Day of the Dead makeup. Just remember, when applying your makeup, have fun and be patient. And never forget those who came before you.